guys, so today's video is going to be a haul video. It's just a little collective haul of some bits and pieces. Some of it I bought myself, some of it I was sent, but you guys know I'm always honest with you and tell you what I was sent and what I purchased myself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some goodies that I have recently gotten. So I made a bit of a Mecca Cosmetica order online because I just love Mecca and I wanted to purchase a few things I've been looking at. So the first thing I've got is a bit wet because it's been in the shower and I've been using it is the Soap and Glory Pulp Friction Foamy Fruity Body Scrub. So this is what this one looks like and I adore this body scrub. I love the Soap and Glory Body Scrubs for getting off my fake tanner. They are the absolute best for removing fake tan. I use these with my Loving Tan Tan Removal Mitt and it is like dreamiest combo. They work so well together and it just gets rid of any remaining self tanner that's left on your body. As hard as it may be to scrub off, this will get it off. It is so good. Um, so it's got in it, it says it's a fruity go fragrance with notes of frozen yuzu, orange oil, green fig and jungle pomelo essence. Um, so I don't love the scent of this. I'll be completely honest. It's very like fig, figgy scented I feel like. I don't mind it. I'm sure a lot of people would like this scent. I just prefer more of like either a vanilla -y caramel scent or a more fruity like strawberry or melony scent. Um, but that's just my personal preference and I really don't mind the scent because it gets my fake tan off and that is what I want it for. So this one I think was about $17 or so which is super affordable because it's like a massive little, a massive little. It's a massive tube and it lasts for ages and it also foams up so it's not like you have to keep on going in and getting more products. So this is the first thing I bought and I love this and would highly recommend it. The next thing I bought from Mecca is another skincare kind of item. It is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I have been wanting this for the longest time. I can't even tell you. I love the brand Origins. Uh, their skincare is just amazing. Their ginseng moisturizer is my favorite in the summertime. It just is the best. So I've been wanting to get this, especially now when my skin is just so dry because in Australia at the moment it is winter. So I decided to just go ahead and purchase it. Basically, it's just a really thick moisturizing facial mask. It, it smells really fresh and like fruity kind of. I can't really describe the scent but it's really nice. That's what it smells like. It smells like mango. It says it's got mango butters in it along with avocado oil and all of that kind of thing. It's got heaps of other ingredients in it as well. So it says you can use it twice a week or as desired. So you just use this after you've cleansed your face and washed all your makeup off, all of that kind of thing. I will put on my jojoba oil which is what I do every night. I'll let that sink in for a little while and then before I go to bed I will apply a layer of this over my skin. So I just really massage it into my skin and I focus on the areas that have those real dry flaky patches which for me at the moment is sort of in this section on just this one cheek, it's really weird, um, down the bottom of my chin and above this eyebrow. So I don't know what's going on with the left side but it is dry as dry can be. But I have found this really, really helps. Um, I don't find my dry patches have completely gone, but they are so dry, like I don't expect it to. But it definitely restores the moisture back into my skin and the next morning I cleanse my face or use my Bioderma and my skin just feels like so soft and supple and just like it's had, as the product suggests, to quench skin thirst, like it's had a big drink of like moisture and just goodness. So I'm really, really, really loving this. I would highly recommend it if you've got dry skin. And you do get quite a bit, you get 100 mils. And I just feel like this is going to like be one of my staple products in my skincare routine from now on. I'm just very, very happy with it. Next thing I bought from Mecca is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. So this is a complete coverage serum concealer. I got the shade Light. I've been looking at this for ages. It's sitting in my bag on the website for ages. I finally decided to just get it because, as I said, my skin's been so dry. So I wanted a really moisturizing and just like nourishing concealer. So I decided to pick this up and I am loving it. It is so good. Again, I've got it underneath my eyes today. It's full coverage, 
covers everything and it is so lightweight but moisturizing and just it feels so nice on the skin so I'm so impressed with this so glad I finally bit the bullet and got it. Bare Minerals is honestly one of my most favorite brands and I've literally tried like less than five products from them and every single thing has become holy grail so I just need to buy everything Bare Minerals because I love that brand so much. I'm sorry, I have a hair on my nose. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this concealer and it was pretty affordable, I believe. I think it was in the $30 range. Yeah, so this is actually $29, which is amazing. Like, that is so affordable for a concealer. I'm loving it. I'm seriously loving this concealer so much. I got another Bare Minerals product. I got the Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. So this is a powder concealer. I've seen Shannon from Shanexo use this for years and it always looks so beautiful on her so I decided to pick it up um, and I am really liking it. It does go a little bit cakey on my under eyes though, I'm not going to lie. I just think I sort of need to work out how to use it and how to apply it the best way. Um, I think it's just one of those things you're just going to try it out and find out which way works best for you because it is a powder product and I'm obviously not used to using powder foundations or concealers but it does really brighten up the under eye and seriously makes it look so 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 beautiful so I do need to play around with this a little bit more but so far I do like it I just don't love the little bit cakiness that I get under my eyes um, and this cost me $28, so again, it's pretty affordable for a concealer. And the last thing I picked up from this Mecca order was the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter. This is the box, because I obviously kept this box, it's just beautiful. Um, but this is the product, it comes in this silver packaging, and it says UD on the front, obviously for Urban Decay. And I bought the shade Sin, and this is my new favourite highlighter. Hands down, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It is so, so pigmented. I will do a swatch for you guys up close. Um, I've got it on today. I don't know if you can see how glowy and beautiful it is. I find it's very similar to Mary Lou, but for some reason, I just like this one better. It's more glowy rather than shimmery and like... I don't know, it's just so finely milled, it's not so chunky. So I'm absolutely in love with this. Definitely one of my new favourite things in the world. I love it so, so much. I purchased from my work, I work in a pharmacy for those of you wondering, I purchased a, another Nude by Nature angled blush brush. This is how they come, I'm going to open it now actually. So they come in these little, oh, it's because it's stuck in the bottom bit. Okay, so now that I've finally got it in and out, um, this one is quite stiff as you can see because it's just come out of the packaging. This is the one that I've had for a little while so it's obviously a bit more bent out of shape but it still works beautifully. I just wanted another one because I use this one so much for bronzing and blush and everything like that. So I wanted to get a second one because when I love a brush I buy multiples. So I purchased this. They're so soft and beautiful. This new nude range is just incredible. I'm so impressed with the quality of this so I definitely wanted to pick up another one. Then onto some stuff that I was sent. I first got in the mail from Lovington these three bronze shimmer luminous creams. So these are a new product from Lovington and basically they are what they say, they're a bronze shimmer luminous cream. So they're a super creamy consistency, they're an instant colour, satin finish and a natural glow. There's the shades ultra dark for maximum intensity, dark for medium to dark skin tones and medium for light to medium skin tones. These you basically apply to the skin to just bronze up the skin. If you've got no fake tan on you can use it to give a bit of colour. If you've got fake tan on, you can use it just to give yourself like a luminous glow and just to bronze up the skin a little bit more. I love products like this for the summertime. I can't wait to use it in summer. So yeah, I will definitely be doing an Instagram video soon on these and how I use them. And I might do a colour comparison, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, I was super lucky that they sent me all three shades to try and they did also send me another one of the deluxe applicator mitts Which I'm so happy about because these are my favorite things ever um, I actually have another one right here that I used last night to apply my fake tan I love these things. They are like velvet. They're so soft and they just blend your tan out so beautifully so 
super, super happy that I got sent another one of these. And then I got this absolutely incredible package from L'Oreal. I couldn't even believe it when I got it. So it came in this big box that says Sculpt Your Look, L'Oreal Paris. And it opens up to, oh my gosh. So it opens up like this. It's got a little pamphlet in there for all the new products. And they sent me two shades of the Infallible Sculpt, two shades of the blush, and they sent me my own personalized brush. I'll show you in a second. And then in this bottom drawer, this is super hard, I have two of the new eyebrow products, a mascara and the Infallible Setting Spray. So, okay, so first of all, the Infallible Sculpt, these are contouring palettes and I guess highlighting palettes. So I actually used the medium to dark one today to contour and highlight my face. I did a full chit chat kind of get ready with me. That will be up after this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I did say in that video that I felt the highlight shade was a bit cakey on my dry patches, but that's because my skin is so dry lately. But I love the contour shade. I love how it blended out and made my contour look super natural. I just... I'm really liking that. I love the packaging as well on these. So far, I'm impressed with them. Then the two blushes that they sent me, this one is Soft Rosy, this one is Nude Beige. Um, so the Soft Rosy one is obviously more like a pinky rose shade, whereas this one's more of a nude, kind of corally brownie shade. Um, they're quite shimmery, so I don't know how I'll go with these. They're basically called Trio Contouring Blushes, so it says on the back you can either apply each shade individually or you can mix all three together. So I will definitely have to give these ones a go and see how they go. And then my little personalized brush. I just think this is such a nice touch to this package. Um, it's a little contouring brush. It's super soft. It feels absolutely beautiful. Um, and it has my name on it. So I'm like... <laughs> it's just so exciting to me that a brand would go to the effort to put my name on something like... That just means the absolute world to me and even though they did it for other people and it's maybe not that special I still think it's like the best thing ever and it's so special to me so I should have used this today I didn't even think of it but it feels so soft and beautiful and I can't wait to use this and then in the bottom drawer I have the brow artist sculpt so I have two shades I have brunette and dark brunette these are very interesting looking products. I am very interested to try them. I'll do a close up, but I don't know if you can see that. It has sort of a brush sort of in the middle and then it has this little spongy applicator on the end. So what you're supposed to do is apply the spongy applicator through the brows and then use the brush to brush it through the eyebrows to, I guess, give you fuller looking eyebrows. So. It looks very interesting and very innovative, so I will definitely have to try these out and see how they go. Then I got, oh my god, I love this packaging. That blue on the lid is life. I love that so much. This is the False Lash Wings Sculpting Mascara, which I do believe I've had before. Oh, no, I haven't. This is new. This is new. I do love the old formula of the False Lash Wings. This one is a new brush, so I'm definitely excited to try this one out. They just sent me the shade Black. And then, of course, the Infallible Fixing Mist, which I'm probably most excited for this. Like, I've been wanting to try this for so long, and it's just not been in stock. Um, so, the texture says it's microfine. It says it sets, and it is for post-makeup. I'm actually going to spray some now, because I didn't use... I used Fix Plus, but I didn't use an actual setting spray. Okay. It smells nice. It kind of smells like hair product, but it smells really good. So, I mean, it's a little bit chunky, the spray. It's not as fine as my Fix Plus or my Urban Decay spray. But for a drugstore product, I do think this will be quite good. Hopefully it does, whoop, hopefully it does work and makes my makeup last longer and, yeah, prolong the wear of it. That's everything in the package from L'Oreal. I am just so grateful for that package. I just think it is so amazing and I feel so blessed when brands send me stuff. Like, they don't have to send me anything. They don't ask for anything in return. It's just them being kind and saying, here, try our new products and if you like them, you can show them and if you don't, then that's okay. But it's just, it's so, I love this community. I love it.
I'm going to stop rambling. That is the end of this haul video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye! Don't bite your collar! Hey, Luna! No! No! In the $30 range, which... I believe it was like so sit blah blah blah. This bloody necklace. Uh. Shan from Shan Shan. <sighs> and they just get rid of it just gets rid of any remainders. Excuse me. I've seen Shannon from Shanek so Actually, that's not... Oh, give me a second. I need a drink. I need a drink.